depending on the lessons that we're uh, involved with, whether we're doing uh, a lesson on bones, whether we're doing a lesson on uh, the circulatory system, uh, we actually roll this in. You'll be seeing uh, something like this when you go next door into see uh, the live from program. Let me first tell you that this can be uh, adjusted by gender, with and without genitalia. Height can go up, weight can go up. I can change the eye color. I can change the color of the skin. And you can zoom in and I can to zoom in. specific regions of the body. Right, so what I'll show you is the first thing that is most important to me because I do the cardiac. Is the circulatory system. Now, the circulatory system, as you know, is the, the whole basis, first of all, is the heart. And the heart uh, pumps blood through these red uh, arteries, goes to all parts of the body, and then comes back through the venous system. The important thing about the circulatory system is when we talk to students is to let them know that 20% of the blood in your body actually goes up to the brain. So you can see all of those very, very important uh, arteries and uh, uh, capillaries and uh, all of the circulation that goes to nourish all of the parts of the brain. As we move down, you can see as I turn around, we have, uh, these are the carotids that go up to the brain and uh, these are the subclavians that come out of here and then go down into the radial arteries in both arms. When we do cardiac surgery, when we zoom into the heart, we can see how close we can get in. What are the white dots that are sort of flashing? They're, uh, they're like questions. Oh, it tells okay. you this, this is the oh. heart when I go back into okay. that. And it identifies different parts of the circulatory system. This is the right atrial appendage, this is the right atrium. The right atrium is here, it goes to the <coughs> the pulmonary artery, which goes to the lungs, which are not here. But you can see there's a tremendous amount of... Uh, so all the white stuff, is that those would be things going into the lungs? Yeah, these are the conduits that go into the lungs. This is the aorta, this is the largest artery in the body, and this is the pulmonary artery that, that goes to the lungs. If I can zoom in a little further on the surface of the heart, <coughs> this, uh, these are the coronary arteries, and you can see him Right here, if you see a real uh, heart, when we do cardiac surgery, when you see a real heart, you'll see that it has layers of fat on it. And the students never know. They say, what is that yellow stuff that's on the heart? So everybody has layers of fat, because when you think of what the heart is, it's a muscle. And fat is something that insulates muscles, and it also provides energy for muscles. Mm. So what goes on, as I turn this, you can see, again, the coronary arteries, if you have a coronary artery disease and you need some sort of bypass, these are the arteries. This is the left anterior descending artery, the main artery coming off the left main, and then it branches into the circumflex artery. So this is one of those arteries that is actually bypassed uh, during the operation. Mm -hmm. um, can you see these things uh, like, uh, uh, well, my, my niece and my nephew, they said they were born with these holes in the heart. Oh, between the two atria? Yeah, they said that. Yeah. And, and they close eventually, right? Sometimes they do, and sometimes they, it's not a problem. Uh, mm. We have seen uh, cardiac surgery where the right. patient is 77 years old. You and see that? He's having symptoms mm. uh, of coronary artery disease. <coughs> and then when the surgeon gets in and works on the heart, he finds mm. out that there is a hole in between the right and the left atria. And this patient had no symptoms his whole life. And it's only since they need to go put the patient on bypass to uh, drain the heart of blood in order for it to be oxygenated to a bypass machine. That's the reason he had to uh, fix the hole, because otherwise uh, the bypass operation <coughs> wouldn't be uh, as effective. Mm. Wow. Mm. So can you zoom on the inside <coughs> of the heart? Or no, this is as far as just, we okay. can go. Mm. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. <laughs> But it would be nice to be able to see the valves, but right here mm. we can't, we don't have that. But so this is pretty amazing software to, mm -hmm. so we can rotate it, zoom in, zoom out, look at different systems. Now, if we brought our kids on a trip here, mm -hmm. we would have to make an appointment to come into this lab? 
Uh, you would have to call reservation to say that you, who asked me that? I, I did. You would have to, I'm not sure, look at you. Okay. You would have to make a talk to the reservation and uh, find out whether or not, because uh, we don't normally schedule doing this, but we have done that in the past. If someone is specifically interested in uh, either cardiac surgery and we can do the anatomical with it, it depends exactly what uh, sort of system you're interested in or you're just interested in an overall anatomy, we could do that. So this is, so generally this is not open to the public? Uh, we usually only use it when we do uh, surgeries and we do some lessons. We have had, actually there was a teacher last year that came into uh, this teacher appreciation and she was so impressed she wanted us to uh, mm -hmm. set up a lesson for her class, which we did. We wheeled this into the interactive theater mm -hmm. and depending on what uh, specifics she was interested in that we taught the children that. So it can be done. It's just a, okay. not a normal program. You would have to request it. Right, got it. Okay. okay, so here is the skeletal system. And again, if you look at the bones <coughs> in the hand, all of the many small little bones that are in your hand and in your wrist, 27 bones in each hand. And if you go down to the, to the feet, we find that this guy is missing one of his phalanges, one of his carpals. So when they, when they did this, they, did, they forgot. They, they forgot to put that. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing, again, is when you look at, this is one of the new operations that we're going to be featuring this year, which is a total knee replacement. So when you take a look at this, this is where the surgeon actually mm. cuts through here mm. and cuts through here, moves this aside slims down the patella on the other side. I'm going to show you the back of it. Mm. This is the back of the joint. So you can see how effective uh, something like this is. And we right. have all of the body systems. We have, here is the respiratory system. Mm. Uh, <coughs> let's see the size of the lungs, how large the lungs are, mm. basically. Mm -hmm. Turn that around, zoom it down, get in a little closer. Here's the diaphragm. Mm. So the, uh, let me show you the digestive system. We have a uh, electronic field trip program uh, that's called Keeping Our Bodies Healthy. And what we do there is to uh, tell the students all about what happens in your digestive system. So we use this on the, uh, we can zoom in the cameras and we use this system also to show where all of the organs are and uh, what the benefits of each of these organs and what they do. And you see all of the, the large intestine, all the 26 feet of the small intestine here. And uh, let me show you this one. This is the reproductive system. And if I were on the male, I could show you the reproductive system of the male. Here is the muscular system. Again, look at all of those uh, <coughs> nerves and tendons that are involved in just moving your hand and you just take a look at that. Yeah. Just moving your hand. And I say, oh, I hurt my shoulder. Let me look this up. Where is that muscle? So you, know, right. you yeah. take a look and you can see all of the, the uh, covering muscles. You see all of this going on underneath here. So it's a, a very, very effective tool. Let me go back to the heart. So I want to show you one thing that we have here. Mm -hmm. We actually have a, a, a CAT scan of uh, an artery of the blood actually going through. Mm -hmm. So you can see... So it's taken like in real time as the blood is flowing? Yes. Is there any mm -hmm. contrast agent that's used? In uh, the blood? Not here. No. Uh, so what this is, you can actually the show when scan. you, because you know uh, plaque builds up in arteries, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. see that this would be a point where there would be some inflammation. So there's a possibility that at some time with, with time and with high blood pressure, because the pressure going out mm -hmm. from the heart is, is uh, much higher, and certainly high blood pressure is a, uh, one of those uh, risk factors for coronary artery disease. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot we can do with this program, and uh, it's very, very interesting to all of us to uh, go through and, and learn how to use this. And, uh, and here's parts of the eyes, you can go up here. And so there is a system that if you, uh, you click on here and bring it up, it's supposed to light up. But 
right now that's not working all that well. So oh, let me show you the brain. Here is the nervous system. Another one that's very, very uh, tied into what we, uh, what we do with our cardiac surgery. You can see all of the folds of the brain. It's a lot better looking at like this as opposed to just pictures in a book. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we have to get going to our next. Yeah. And you guys can always come back. I'll do that. Thank you very much. <laughs>